The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Daryl Martin. All right, folks, come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. I'm your host, Daryl Martin, right here on TFNN. Don't forget, you can listen to us anywhere on your mobile phone at tfnn.mobi. And uh, watch us online at Tiger TV right there at TFNN.com. All right, let's check out where the markets are at right now and looking at everything and how it's going. What we got right now is we got uh, but indices are pretty flat on the day at the moment. And uh, we have the S&P is currently up two points. We have the Russell down seven. NASDAQ is currently down eight points. And the Dow is up. Again, that was up 28 now, 29 now, 30 points. And uh, we got, so it's uh, basically the leader of the pack, pretty much, I mean, on par, a uh, little bit ahead of the S&P on a percent move basis. Looking on over at copper, it's uh, down 1.36%. Nice move on copper right there. Not something I like to try on the future. I tried it on futures a long time ago, but um, and I like it. You get big, nice moves. Problem is you also get big moves on low liquidity. But uh, you can trade on Nadex with defined risk. So it's something a, a contract people often overlook, uh, but it's also a uh, good one. We're going to talk about uh, if you're a new trader, a small trader, and I'm going to go through the spreads with you today. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about sort of a, just you know my take on each one of the spreads and which ones you should embrace for what purpose. Because some of them, if you trade them and you don't know why you're trading them, then you're going to be disappointed with the results. So we'll go into that. Um, looking on over at gold, uh, gold right now is down eight and a half points. We got silver is down almost one percent on the day. Natural gas currently up a quarter. We have oil up, uh, let's see, sixty six cents. We got uh, corn is down a couple dollars. With soybeans up ten bucks. Euro dollar is currently uh, down. Uh, what was that? Point one seven. So down uh, thirty seven pips on the day. Aussie dollar at fifty eight. We got pound dollar up thirty four and dollar franc up twenty four. Dollar cat is currently down 27 pips. U.S. Uh, make sure I got that right. Yeah, U.S. yen is currently up five. Aussie yen is up 66. Euro yen is down 31. Again, Nadex uh, starting not this Sunday but next Sunday is going to be offering the nighttime binary. They already have the nighttime spreads. They're going to add in the nighttime binary contracts. So you can take care of those and uh, start taking advantage of those. Um, another uh, yen pair in there. We got U.S. yen. So it'll be nice to have a euro yen and. Um, my personal favorite as far as volatility goes, pound yen. And um, so for nighttime trading, you usually get some nice uh, movement on that. And uh, up 0.22%. And then we got the euro pound, which is down 0.38%. Um, and uh, something else I'll probably cover. I'm going to go over like futures volume and uh, which ones you can get it on and why and what. And uh, we'll talk about that maybe as an additional topic um, today. So because you know, volume is everything. And uh, a lot of times as a forex trader, you don't know that. Um, or you think you're looking at volume and you're not. Like if you're using MetaTrader 4, even NinjaTrader, you know, pretty much almost every platform out there, you're not looking at volume when you have the volume indicator on. You're looking at something else. So stay tuned. And um, like I said, we'll get to that uh, this show as well. Now, Looking at where we're at on the markets, I want to go ahead and I want to pull up the spreads first, first topic of the day. And I wanted to just sort of walk through each one of them with you, okay? And uh, if you don't have a Nadex account yet, you know, first steps recommend, hop on over to Nadex.com. And over at Nadex.com, you can go in here, you can click on um, the trading demo trading account section and you'll be able to get um, immediate access uh, to a demo account uh, they give you $25,000 of funny money in a couple weeks to play with it um, it's free no obligation no cost all you're literally putting in is a username a um, name and phone and email address and then it'll instantly send you that password 
then you'll be able to log right in right here at the top of the Nadex platform. And once you do that, so I'll log in here to demo. So I do that and then I click demo. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to see everything. And uh, what you're going to want is what you're going to realize pretty quick is there's a lot of contracts. Um, my last count, and it's going to be even larger now with all the new contracts on, but uh, throughout the week there's over 2,500 contracts that are traded, different contracts traded on the Nadex platform. Now, that's on you know 24 markets, and I want to say 28, 27 or 28 different expiration times. So I had um, anywhere between 3 and 21 strikes per expiration. So, of course, the number of expirations and... You know, the hours available, all that varies by market. Just like in futures, how you have different hours of operation and all that stuff. Same thing over on Nadex. And um, lately, it seems to think my the Nadex website is in Spanish. It's funny. Um, you may think it's in Spanish <laughs> when you come over to it. You may think it's in another language. And um, because you have to go over here, and, you know, if you're looking at the spreads, then you got to click on the contract, and then you got to click here. And then you'll see three contracts, three you know there, three there. Uh, you have to make sure you hit refresh in order to see everything that's available. Otherwise, you'll see stuff like that just expired. Um, you know, like the two o'clock haven't loaded for FTSE yet for some odd reason. Um, I'd have to check out why I haven't even looked at that. But uh, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, you know, and so there's all these different expirations. We got one, two, three, four, five, five. Um, showing, you know, four, because that one o'clock should be dropping off any second. But, I mean, you're talking, you know, 15 contracts, um, well, actually, it would be 12, 13 contracts looking at one time. That's just on one market. And you're trying to pick the best contract, the best time. And you see these points, you see these expirations, you see this information, you see the size, you see the offer. And uh, with all that there, you still want to go in and you want to... Um, you know, either learn how to do the math instantly in your head, which means I have to go, okay, 94.86 minus 94.75 is 11. Therefore, it's an $11 risk trade. It's a 50-point wide spread, so 50 minus 11 is 39. Okay, you see how much that is. That's for one contract. Now they do it on 13 and then figure out which one's best and do it live in real time because your chart just showed you you have a buy. Okay, so you can see that adds up. Um, and by the time you figure it out, this is what happened to me. By the time I figured it out, the market already moved. And so I tried to do some sell thing that still wasn't fast enough. And um, I wasn't trading them near as much. Not that I didn't like them better than trading, you know, futures and Forex. Or, you know, at least hedging with them for futures and Forex. It's just that um, I didn't have time. I mean, when I want to go, I want to go. All right? And so that's uh, where the scanner came about was for my own personal use. And it just sort of expanded from there. And when you know when you load up the scanner, you see all this complicated information. But uh, I'm going to start off up here at the top, okay? So we're not really going to worry about the filters today. We're really going to focus more on the markets, and I'm just going to break down each one of these markets for you. Um, first thing you notice, it shows you what market has something open. So again, if you have no filters on, there will be a contract showing, at least one, okay? Um, there will be you know at least really I guess three contracts showing. But you'll see contract showing if it has a little green. Arrow right there means open. It even tells you if you put your mouse over it, it'll tell you market is open. If it shows red, market is closed. Okay, so that's the market hours. Now, where can you get the market hours for Nadex? There's a lot of sources, um, but just to you know, go to the source, Nadex.com, and go over here to markets, and then go to whichever one you want. So let's say you want, you know, indices. You go to indices, and there's a little link that says contract specs. Underneath that, you know. Do you want binaries? No, I'm looking at spreads. Okay, so you want spreads. And that will tell you what hours, how many strikes there are per expiration, how wide those um, spreads are, you know, how long they're trading, and what they tick in. Okay? One thing that's important to understand is every tick on Nadex, every single one of them is always a dollar. The value is always a buck. Now, if you want to make that value $10, buy 10 contracts. It's really simple. And, by the way, the fees cap out at 10 so if you do 100 contracts, you pay the same amount as if you just did 10 on the exchange fees. There's no broker fees. There's no commissions. You're going direct to the exchange. Um, anyway, so the tick size's value is always a dollar. 
and the tick size will always be one. Now, the decimal point may change, but it will always move in an increment of one. So like Wall Street 30 moves in one. S&P, notice how it moves in point one, sort of like the, uh, SM, the SP, the full-size contract on the floor moves at point one. The S&P even is moving quarters. So, but notice it moves in a one. It actually ticks, I, what I call this is higher leverage. Okay, it ticks faster than even the underlying market itself, which ticks in quarters. This ticks in dimes. Point one would be a dime. Okay. Um, again, tick size or tick value is always a dollar. We go down. U.S. Tech is one. Um, now, U.S. Tech, and we're going to see this even more clearly on the scanner. But U.S. Tech is one, but it follows the Nasdaq 100. And by the way, up at the top, it'll tell you. But also in the scanner, we tell you all this. Okay. Um, like what mark that's following. But right here. The U.S. tech ticks in one, but the thing is, NASDAQ ticks in quarters. So it ticks higher. Okay, again, it ticks higher than the underlying market. Remember, the S&P ticks in quarters, but the U.S. 500 and index spread ticks in dimes. So it basically is higher leverage because it ticks faster. The NASDAQ has a larger tick size, being one, versus a quarter, like the NASDAQ um, futures in Q. And therefore, it has lower leverage. And there's a benefit to that if you understand it. If you don't understand it, you're going to be pissed off, okay? So I want to make sure you understand it so you don't think, like, what's going on? There's something going. So, you know, something's up here. You know, a lot of it's just, you know, being educated on how the product works. Small caps tick in point one, just like the Russell, you know. Um, Dow ticks in, you know, one, just like the Dow. But notice how these are all ones, ones or point ones. It doesn't matter what I look at, um, it's always going to be that way. Okay, it'll be point like zero 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 one for say euro dollar, point zero zero one for natural gas, point zero one for oil, point one for Russell, um, you know, one for the Dow. All right. Um, to help you keep up with all that so you don't have to remember it, we got it right here in the scanner. And I'm gonna show you that. But uh, so we got step one is open and closed market. Now Aussie and Euro Pound, they're not technically closed. Uh, we've just already built them in and ready. Um, for our API connection that we have. And so when Natix launches Aussie and Euro Pound spreads, they'll start feeding right away immediately. Okay? Right now, they have Aussie and Euro Pound binaries. Okay? So that's why they're on the list because it is a product offered by Natix. It's just they're always closed because it's not currently an available market to trade. Um, and so you see that most of the markets are open. Markets trade from early as 6 p.m. to as late as you know 5 p.m. depending upon what you're trading. On the spreads, the latest spread is 4:15. The earliest spread is 6 o'clock. Okay, so you can trade at night. You know, 6 o'clock. You know, bureau session. You can trade during the day. You can trade. You know, in the middle of the afternoon. You can trade. You know, in the wee early morning hours. Whatever your schedule is, the contracts are there. And uh, you'll find out a little bit more about why you might prefer this over futures forex. When we get back, as I walk through my sort of my opinion of each one of the spreads, stay right there. We'll be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high-profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Daryl takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. All right, folks. We'll come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And... So what I'm doing is I'm going through these spreads sort of step by step for you. And like I said, we're just looking at them and making sure we got them down, how they work. Um, I'm talking about the tick size. The tick size on all of the contracts is a dollar. Okay. So um, that way you just you understand that that's, it's always a buck. And why is that important? Why am I bringing that up? Why am I saying that over and over? Well, if you traded futures before, you know, one of the uh, most challenging things is that you go into trade okay and you start straight futures and you'll realize real quick that all of these different ones have different tick sizes you know, they got they tick in quarters dimes nickels eighths of cents um, you know there's there's just a lot of really challenging little pieces trying to figure out and remember and so most people tend to like focusing on one market but then they miss out indices are flat today they miss out on the moves on commodities or you know whatever and uh, it just makes it hard. And then you add on to that. Okay, you have to you know go and you have to learn you know what future month is it following, and then you got to learn what is the tick size because tick size maybe is a quarter, but it's twelve fifty on this one. What's a quarter on Nas? On that's on S and P. On Nasdaq it's a quarter, but uh, it's only worth five bucks. You know, on the Dow it's one, but it's worth five dollars. So on Russell, it's 0 0.1, and it's worth $10. So all those, just randomly different tick sizes, different, you know, values. 
On that issue, you have to deal with that. It's always an increment of one. You know, who cares what the decimal is? Always an increment of one and always a value of one. Um, and so we're going to go through and pick a couple of these markets. And I'll start off just with the um, indices list. By the way, you can click that and it'll either select all or un unselect all of the indices for you at one time. Now, understand the more markets you have selected at one time, the more data is live streaming in. Okay, so it'll use up more bandwidth. So really, you know, I don't recommend if you're not actually trading the market, don't just have them all selected because it looks cool or whatever. You know, only select the ones that you're trading. Well, one of the things I mentioned, and I used to actually give this like a really negative review. Okay, there are three markets I used to be like, uh so I want to show you what those three markets that I used to do. I, just, I, I saw no point. I thought it was stupid. And, of course, as I started helping more traders, I'm like, oh, wow, that there actually is a benefit. And those three markets are silver, the NASDAQ, and copper. And here I'm going to go up here and just to get rid of everything so I can easily just scroll down. Um, here, that'll wipe everything out for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus right over here on the right side okay and what I want you to see is we do a few things to make it easy for you one is I tell you what does silver follow it's not a silver index it's not a silver CFD you know it's a silver future contract it's the COMEX silver future contract and specifically it's the COMEX silver May 2014 future contract the symbol for that, like if you're using, say, Ninja Trader, is SI space 05 14. So it's SI for silver, then 05 for May, and then 14 for 2014. If you're using um, a platform, let's say, like Thinkorswim, that uh, uses a month codes, SI K4. So K for May. I guess because it rhymes. I have no idea. So the months have no rhyme or reason behind them. But there they are. Okay? Um, and that is going to change. It's going to roll over on you. What does that mean? What's well, a future contract? What does future mean? Future means it is an agreement between two parties. One, the buyer, meaning willing to take delivery on, you know, when there is a delivery possibility, like silver. One, uh, willing to make delivery, willing to deliver the silver. Okay. At a set price, whatever the market price is right now, on a future delivery date, and there actually are delivery dates. So, uh, you know, Warren Buffett he did this big thing where he caused silver to fly up by actually calling in delivery on a whole bunch of silver contracts, and they didn't have enough on hand, and they were buying all the silver they could get, and so everybody just kept jacking the price up, 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 up. Um, and so, right there, you know, it, that's what a future contract is. Um, Farmers can use this to, like, let's say they got corn, they grow corn, they want to lock in their price, they can open a hedge account uh, where basically they own, they have the corn. They can lock in the sell price so they can know they cover the cost of their crops and everything else. So if the corn was to drop down, then they wouldn't make anything, but if it flew up, then what would happen is they would just go sell the corn, and then that would take care of the difference in the loss on the future contract because they were hedged. Uh, we'll talk more about that when we get back, and we'll go through these three spreads specifically why I do, didn't, and now do like them right after this. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Andy Hecht will be hosting his first paid workshop on TFNN, The Technomental Trading Method, which is taking place Friday, March 28th from noon till 3.30 Eastern Time. Relying on his decades of experience as a professional commodities trader for some of the largest and most well-respected firms in the business, Andy will be teaching for three full hours discussing the application of the technomentals he uses when trading commodities, futures, inter- and intra-commodity spreads, commodity-related stocks, ETFs and ETNs, and related options and much more you'll receive an added bonus of a quick reference guide that andy has put together for everyone that attends that breaks down the u.s traded commodity based etf and etn products available to you as a trader the techno mental trading method friday march 28th from noon till 3 30 eastern time this workshop will be archived so that if you can't attend live you can view it whenever you'd like on demand for 30 days for all the details and to reserve your spot today visit the front page of tfnn.com Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so I was going into a futures contract and explaining what that was and how that works. Um, also up here at the top, one of the things that we've added in is this Nadex information tab. And on it, to help out, because I know a lot of traders that come into Nadex are new. I um, understand that there's rollover. Remember that contract, it's, remember, like I saw, it was May, it was Silver May futures. So at a certain point, that contract's going to go to a following month. And so what we did is we built in a calendar that lets you know. Now, Nadex, when you log in on the live account, tells you, hey, we have updated and rolled over the contract. Uh, and it's in like five places or whatever, so you don't have to worry about it, but it's it's nice to know that. What I do is a good practice is I actually, on Fridays, I have to go in and I update all my futures to roll over on rollover weeks, okay? And that way when I hop on Monday, I'm ready to go. I don't forget. I don't get in a hurry. I'm, I don't end up looking at the wrong future. And um, it also could cause platform issues, all sorts of stuff. But anyway, so right here, by doing this, I'm able to easily see, you know, what rolls over and when. So, for instance, you know, this weekend, nothing's rolling over. But, um, you know, so you can use that. And you can even go back. You can go forward. You can see future. Um, we have all of them built in literally for the entire year. So all the rollovers are built in. Okay? And we also put the current underlines all in one list. So if you're ever wondering... You know, what does a contract follow? What is the symbol on, say, NinjaTrader? What's the symbol on, say, 
think or swim or whatever. Uh, I mean, and it can vary by platform. So I think think or swim. Yeah, they use a slash in front of it. But uh, and the reason we put the month on there, even on think or swim, on think or swim, you can just put like slash es. But maybe es rolled on Thursday, but index doesn't roll till Saturday. So you want to make sure you're still looking at the same future, okay? Not the one that is not following. Um, and when I say rolled, what I mean is most of the trade, like a, the traders are starting to, and by you know Monday they'll definitely be done, but they're starting to roll over starting to trade like the June contract, no longer trading the March contract, okay? And but the thing is, it's a derivative. It's based on that, and Nadex has weekly contracts. And so most of their expirations expire uh, or roll over at the end of the week. Uh, there are a few exceptions. They're actually starting to really get really good about this. I've been really impressed. Uh, where they're looking at you know liquidity like on copper and silver like it's on a Wednesday you got the you know the next guy is right there on Friday you got the FTSE and the DAX right here on a Tuesday gold on a Monday so they're doing a really good job of making these things roll over because they really want that liquidity for calculating settlement and uh, I'm just glad to see that they're they instead of just taking the easy route of we'll just make them roll on Sundays they've got a lot more active in it. And I think that's happened due to, you know, there's more traders coming on. They, they had more than a 100% increase in volume last year. They've added on tons of expirations this year. Um, you know, on US yen, euro dollar, what else, uh, euro pound, Aussie yen. Um, for new contracts, uh, the, the Nikkei, they're about to add on. They're about to add on the euro yen at night. And uh, pound dollar, so just a lot of stuff they've added in. As they add in, more traders come on. It's really important. On the current underlying sets for futures, for future indices. Uh, a, com- a future indice, you know, it's the stock index, okay? Um, and they have the international and U.S. indices. The commodities, uh, what is a commodity? It's something you can drop on your foot and it hurts. You know, if you drop, you know, gold bar on your foot, it's going to hurt. Drop a uh, barrel of oil on your foot, it's going to hurt. That's a commodity. Simplest explanation I've ever heard, and uh, sort of get the point across. It's a real thing, okay? Um, Versus, like, you know, a stock is a piece of paper representing a share of a company, and an index is basically tracking a bunch of different stock prices combined, whereas a commodity is something real. Currency, uh, you can debate on whether that's real or not, um, but on currency, it is, uh, they follow the spot FX, okay? So, why do we list the currency future rollover dates? The reason is because maybe you're using that for volume. And it's really important that you you know look at the right. You want to look at the future contracts. We let you know what the right future roll date is um, for currency futures. All right, so back over here on topic on the spread scanner, we're looking at silver, and um, we got to the symbol. We also have the tick size. So Nadex ticks in point oh one. Values a dollar like on every single Nadex contract. Silver takes in point zero zero five, so it goes point zero zero five, point zero one zero, point zero one five, point zero two zero. You know that's how it ticks, okay? And every tick is worth twenty five bucks. Wow, all right. So if every tick is worth twenty five dollars, and it takes in point zero five, and on Nadex, every tick is worth one dollar, and it ticks in point zero one. Okay, then what? How many contracts on Nadex would it take to equal silver contract? And that seems like really tough. So, well, the first part is really simple. Let me show you sort of a, a simple math way to figure this out. One is to look at the tick value, the, the dollar value. Okay, twenty-five dollars, one dollar. Well, right there, that tells you you're going to need at least twenty-five to equal one. At least theoretically, that's what you need, right? At least twenty-five to equal one. Um, and, but then, so you got that number, so you got 25, and then over here we got 0.05 and 0.01. Notice how it ticks in a higher increment, okay? It ticks in dimes, or actually it ticks in pennies, whereas you could say silver ticks in half cents. So silver will, for every one tick that Nadex moves, silver has to move two ticks. So how do I get a Nadex tick to equal a silver tick, okay? Well, I need a, you know, like either two silver contracts, that'd be sort of complex, or just to make it really simple, what I'd do is go, okay, well, 25, and it's half, you know, it's really double the size, it's double, sorry, not half, but double the size, therefore, I need two, because it's double, times 25, because there's 25 to $1, 
and that gives me 50 Nadex spreads. So if silver were to move one point, I'm oh no, sorry, you know, let's say one tick, what is it bigger? We'll say if silver were to move, we'll say 10 ticks, okay, which would be 250 bucks. Okay, so 10 ticks on silver, $250. Then Nadex would only move how much? Move 0.01. And I know this seems like really complex. I'm going to bring up an Excel sheet because I can just hear myself going, ah, oh, this is too complex. Uh, if you get this down, it sort of helps you out. And you don't have to master this, but if you're a future trader, you're coming over, you definitely want to know this. Uh, and it's just, and if you're not a future trader, then you're already confused by ticks as it is. But if I sort of repeat, you know what I got there? I got Nadex, I got Silver. And then I got size, and I got value, okay? And we got 0 .01, 0 .05, like that's minimum tick size. We'll minimum tick size, okay? And then we got tick value. And then right here we got, you know, $1, $25. And what we'll do is we'll make that a dollar sign there, okay? Then if silver were to move... Let's say that times 10, that'd be 5 cents, okay? Because 10 ticks at half a cent each would be 5 cents. Makes sense, right? So we can go over here and we go, okay, so, um, you know, how many, you can even go, okay, well, how many ticks would that be? So divided by, uh, whoops, that divided by, and then we'll get rid of, dollar sign on this. Hopefully, when I'm done, what I'm hoping is that this will make sense to you. All right, so right here, we're going to say movement number of ticks, okay? And now that we have that on there, so movement number of ticks, now let's go in and let's just do this. So equals 0.05, so the movement but divided by the Nadex tick size. Okay, so, eh, well, actually, movement would be the same. Sorry. 0.05 is 0.05. But how many ticks is 0.05? Okay, five ticks. So that would be 10 ticks on Nadex. That would be five ticks here. Well, what is What are 10 ticks worth? So let's say equals... 25 bucks, yeah, there we go. All right, so 10 ticks times $25, 250 bucks. Well, what is five ticks? It's not that much, it's only $5. Wow, wait a minute, so in one silver contract, in 10 ticks I could make or lose 250 bucks. Wow, that's scary and awesome, depending upon you know, which direction you're going and if it's going in your direction. Also, it makes you go, wow, that sort of sucks. A silver spread looks horrible. Okay? I mean, silver moved five cents and, you know, nothing happened. And, like, this this is where new traders get caught. Okay? And let's go look at silver. Like, how far has it moved a day? To give us a real, we're going to go in and just point. One four nine. Okay, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna actually change this up a bit. It didn't quite add up. Hold on, let me bring it in here. We're gonna say because that's a decent little move. All right, so now uh, hold on, let me bring up a silver chart. you get this down, and that would be an awesome result of the show if you can actually get down and understand tick size. Um, and then let me bring up one more piece. I just want to put all these pieces together so when I do it, you're like, oh, and then the light bulb just clicks. Okay? I want to make it just super, super easy. Um, Okay.
So silver's currently quoting at nineteen point eighty three. That's the actual quote on silver. And um, let's go in and then add in that layer that I just talked about of like you know like how much did it move by? And that's gonna go and I'm gonna put in the closing price of yesterday. Okay, so yesterday's close we had at nineteen point nine eight. Okay, so And then one thing we need to add in is we need to go over here and add in that extra decimal because see how it has three decimals in its um, tick size, okay? Right there. Okay. And so now we're just going to go over here. I'm going to stay up there as an example, but I want to show you like the, the massive impact. Um, and then we're going to go to 0.15 and go, like, realistically today, what would have happened, you know? Um, so 0 0.05, 0 0.05, it's only five ticks on Nadex, that's 10 ticks on Silver. So Silver is moving double the ticks, and the ticks have $25 more value. So if you have $25 times double the ticks, because it moves twice as fast, right, because it's moving at half cents versus cents. So if, it, if the market moves five cents, Nadex only moves five ticks, Silver moves 10 ticks because silver futures move in half cents. So there's 10 half cents in one, or 10 half cents in a five cent move. So I hope that, I'm hoping it would make sense. Um, and so now you go, okay, well, 525, how many would that take? How many silver spreads would I need to equal one Nadex future? You go over here, we're going to divide this 50. Okay, huge. I'm like, what in the, you know, blue blazes, okay? 50 silver spreads, you know, to one SI. Okay, a future there. And notice we have that on the scanner. 50 Nidic silver, one SI contract. And now if we go in and we use this number that we have here, like the move today, that was a seven hundred and fifty dollar move in silver from you know close to low. It's only a fifteen dollar move on Nadex. So first thing I want to bring up is if you're a future trader and you're used to trading silver or Nasdaq or copper, these are the only three that do this. You think you might be a little pissed when you go in and you catch this massive move and you only make $15. The answer is yes. Unless you understand why and how you can take advantage of that. So, you can stare at there. We'll be right back after this break and we'll try to wrap this piece up for today. Um, and just make sure you really got the silver thing down and why I like them. I want to make sure you understand why I still do like them right after this break. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain in this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, welcome on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. I went ahead and um, did the NASDAQ, too, because there's a lot of NASDAQ uh, traders out there. And so I wanted to do both of them um, for you at the same time. And I also figured out the formula. <laughs> I figured it out a long time ago. I just haven't thought about it for a while. And what you do is you divide the Nadex tick size by the silver tick size and multiply that um, times the silver tick size divided by the Nadex tick size. So it's Nadex divided by silver times um, size times the future divided by Nadex. And that will tell you how many spreads you need. But um, anyway, so right here in this, what you see is that uh, you've got a change of 0 0.15, 750 bucks, only made $15 on the spread. And that's, that's not including fees, that's not including bid ass spread, all that stuff, okay? Here, NASDAQ, you know, you're a NASDAQ trader, it's only $5 a tick, it's not near as heavy, okay? It ticks in quarters. Again, it's not as leveraged, okay? It ticks at a higher value, so meaning it moves slower, like every time NASDAQ moves four, it's only moved one. So it moves slower. So one, there is an advantage. The first advantage is if you're a smaller trader, you can really trade. I mean, you're talking like $15, $30. Okay, if you went the wrong direction and you bought the middle spread on, you know, the NASDAQ, which is down like 30 points right now, you'd only be down 30 bucks. Okay? And that's at most. 
Uh, the second one is you can go in and, again, the fees are capped. Okay, now it'd still be a little more than I'd want to pay, but uh, they, we are, are at least capped. So it's not like I'm paying a dollar per, or 90 cents or whatever per contract. So that's another advantage. Uh, the third one is I still can hedge with them. And the fourth one, is, again, it's really low risk. So you'll go in here and we'll pull up. Let me pull that up again real quick. I'm just hoping I can get to this, like I said before, it's all up. But if it isn't, then we'll just, uh, we may, I think we'll continue this tomorrow. Um, but right here, you know, I go in here and let me get rid of the filter that I put on. Show all of the NASDAQ spreads. And I want you to check out what the risks are on these trades, okay? $13, $2, $11, you know. I mean, there's a really risky one. 78 bucks. That's really risky. Okay? Straighten right at the market. There's no premium in it at all. That'd be a 20 point up move. All right? Um, you know, $21. I mean, like I said, three bucks. So, I mean, I wouldn't trade that because it'd be sort of stupid because it's 24 points out of the money. Um, and what, by the way, when it quotes ticks on here, it's quoting the Nadex tick size. Okay? So, like, it'll look, like when it says 10, it means 10 points on NASDAQ. If it says 10 on US 500, that ticks in 0.1. That means one point on the S&P 500. Okay? Um, anyway, so we got that right there. And scrolling down, looking at all this, uh, you can just see that there's a lot of just low risk trades. That's not a bad one right there at all. Okay? $22. I can go short on that. Have a $76 profit potential. You know, if I want to go long up here on a 415 contract, and at the end of the day, there's one for $30 risk, I can trade with a lot less risk. Well, maybe I don't want to trade with a lot less risk. I mean, maybe I'm okay with 150 bucks risk or whatever. Fine, do five of them, okay? But now your risk is capped, okay? No matter how far it goes against you, now you can get out. You, by the way, you don't have to hold the thing for the full risk. It's like a future contract. You don't have to hold the thing to delivery, okay? It amazes me how many people like talk. I don't know where it's going to be at an expiration. Well, neither do I, and no, nobody's in it, neither does anybody else. That's why you get out of a trade, just like you do with any option, any future. You don't hold those to delivery and expiration. Um, anyway, so we went through a couple of those benefits, and we'll go through some more, but you can hedge with them. One of the biggest ones on the risk management is you can ratio your risk. You can't do, like, a 50th of, the, of a silver future. You can't do, you know... A, tenth of a silver future. So you can really, really fine tune your risk percent. We'll talk about this more tomorrow. I'll see you then. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.